Thanks for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. So there's a lot of hand tools that you'll eventually need to buy in traditional woodworking, but uh, I've compiled a very short list of the minimum tools required to get started on the basic projects, a basic set of tools. And among those are two panel saws. So you can see the panel saws don't have a back on top and they can cut through a lot of things. They can cut cut to a, a large depth because there's nothing to stop them back here. The two, uh, the two saws, well the panel saws are actually used for more rough work, getting close up to the line, not like back saws, which I'll discuss in a different video. But these, these panel saws are really good for getting to a, a, your rough dimensions. So one of them, uh, the, the two saws I recommend is a rip saw and a crosscut saw. Let me explain this a little bit for you, and you can check out my my hand saw buying guide for more details uh, about the specific specific brands and features and and teeth count and everything to look for in these. But I just wanted to give a basic introduction to to these uh, two saws. So a rip saw is something that you use to cut with the grain. The teeth are like chisels and they they work very well at uh, cutting downward through the grain of a board. Uh, and on the other hand, a crosscut saw, just as the name implies, is used for cutting across the grain. The teeth are, instead of being, instead of a rip saw where they're, they're cut, they're sharpened straight across, the crosscut saw is actually, you file the teeth when you're sharpening it at an angle so that it's more like a knife cutting across so it can sever the fibers of the wood going across the grain. So these two saws I use all the time. They can be found very cheaply uh, at, uh, for as little as five dollars at flea markets but you want to make sure you look for the right the right features and the right brand so you make sure you're getting good quality steel that will last a life more than one lifetime. Uh, these particular saws are well over a hundred years old so, uh, but you'll often pay the same amount for uh, a bad saw as you will for a good saw. So check out my buying guide and uh, look for those additional features and uh, follow the link. I've got some links to places where you can find good deals on these saws. So if this has been helpful to you, please subscribe on the little blue button up there and visit Wood and Shop and learn how to get started in traditional woodworking. Thanks so much for watching.